I'm Good Morning El Paso's Isabela Martinez, and let's get you ready for your digital morning rush. An El Paso family died in a fire in San Antonio last Friday, and police are now investigating it as a homicide. This as the 19-year-old daughter was found with a gunshot wound. Fire officials believed the fire started in the garage. The autopsy report has been released for a 16-year-old non-binary student from El Paso who died in Oklahoma. The report says next Benedict died by suicide. Benedict died a day after getting into a fight with several students at their high school last month. Alas Cruz's mother was found not guilty of child abandonment after her six-year-old son, Avery Jackson Dunphy, was killed by dogs in 2021. His mother, Danica Jackson, was facing one to 15 years in prison for child abandonment resulting in death. A new entertainment center is coming to Las Cruces with plans of making history. It will be located on Baton Memorial West near the Telshore 12 Cinema. Developers say the new attraction will have plenty of entertainment activities plus the return of a local favorite burger place. Spring break is in session and as Borderland families and college students enjoy the last few days off, a local trauma doctor says hospital visits increase during this time. He highlights the importance of responsible alcohol consumption, using the right safety equipment, and limiting sun exposure. For more information and updates, make sure to check out KVIA both on-air and online at KVIA.com.